God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform. And also I'm talking to you, you LEOs. There may come a day where you're going to have to reach down deep and search your soul. And I know there is a soul in there. To whether or not you are going to stand behind unjustified, unconstitutional laws that may be implemented in the future. All right, guys, Cowboy 32 here. Check it out. So I wish I had some better news for you guys, but uh, I was actually out shopping today to buy my son his very first lawnmower. He just turned 11 years old, and I, you know, it's like you know what? It's time for you to get out there and get some work done. So it's going to be a lot of fun teaching him how to trim and blow and mow and all the other stuff. I guess I remember starting lawn mowing when I was about eight years old. The minute that my brother could stick a lawnmower in my hand, it relieved him of that responsibility. So thanks, Ranger Joe. I really appreciate that. Uh, secondly, just finished up ordering a bunch of Anderson lowers. And I know everybody doesn't like Anderson, but a lower's a lower, uh, especially right now from primary arms if you go to kb32tech.com uh there's a link to primary arms that'll help support the channel i really appreciate that remember kb32tech.com also that's it let's talk about this real quickly well today uh, i guess it was announced they finally found enough uh ballots to push joe biden over that uh 270 mark and it was announced just a few minutes ago uh, so what does that mean? Well, it means that uh, all the guys out there screaming and hollering about the bump stocks, y'all gonna have a lot of fun screaming about and hollering about everything else that's getting ready to get banned. Uh, or at least the, the fight to destroy our freedoms and our Second Amendment. It sickens me. I am, I am disgusted and I, I just can't understand. Number one, I know that people hate the orange man. Okay, but I don't understand or nor can I comprehend why you would vote for someone who wants to raise taxes. And I know he says, we're only going to raise taxes on people who make $400,000 or more. But what he's going to do is he's going to rescind all the corporate tax cuts, which gave corporations incentive to hire, increase salary. The demand for employment raises the demand for salaries, hire wagers. So all that shit's gone, dude. All you people that had... These incredible, really neat jobs that you never had a job before. Guess what? That stuff, it's getting ready to be handed back to you toward a good old handout welfare state in which they want. Now, here's the thing that really chaps my ass is that you've got all these assholes, the AOC, the, the group, uh, Bernie Sanders, who think they're going to roll up in there and they're going to impl implement their Green New Deal. Which, again, is going to cost our country something that they can't afford. Next... The, uh, the right to health care. It is not a right if I have to pay for it. That's the thing that people don't understand. You, or I'm not talking to you guys specifically. I'm talking to the individuals who may come over here and watch this. But here's the interesting thing. You don't have to pay for my guns. No one pays for my guns. No one pays for my Second Amendment right but me. Now, I have to pay for your freaking health care. Okay? That's not a right. That is an entitlement, and this is what people don't understand. Now, here's the kicker, people. Oh, we still have the Senate. Oh, contraire. There's still a fight in Georgia. And if one thing I know, if they have the House, the Senate, and the President's office, our Second Amendment will go to Yahoo. Okay? He's going to go ahead. He's going to fight to go ahead and get the registration of everything under the sun. The NFA, uh, the buyback program, the, what's his name? And all these people sitting there talking about, well, he's not going to come after your guns. Bullshit. It's exactly what he said he's going to do. So you sitting there calling that guy a liar? No, he's not a liar. He's going to implement exactly what he has. Now, a transparent, translucent, arrogant, uh, idiotic, uh, the guy's delusional, and I don't understand how in the world anybody can vote for this guy. But alas, they found the votes. They found enough votes. They scrounged them up. They were, I guess, sitting in trash cans. Now, I hope and I know that they're going to be doing the lawsuits and everything. Let's just hope that that, that does something. Okay? Uh, they take it to the Supreme Court. And at this point in time, Biden keeps on going about, we're going to bring the country together. No, Biden, what you did is you just satisfied the, the idiots who live in mom and daddy's basement. So now they're not going to be out on the streets. But I do think they will be out on the streets because they will continue to whine and cry and throw tantrums over all the little things that they do not get. Now, guys, this is me speaking. 
Now, one of the things I can't wait to do is get back to doing some stuff that involves a range and ammunition and everything else. Unfortunately, right now, there's just no ammo out there. But I do have a few pieces of ammo, and they're 6.5 Creedmoor. Not long ago, somebody asked me, hey, KB, can't you do something that's involving the big bore stuff? So, guess what? Look at this guy. This came to us live from Live Free Armory. This is one of their Blims dudes. And, and then tell you what, they've got a hell of a deal going on right now. Uh, upper and lower receiver sets for like 200 bucks in big bore stuff. And then uh, you can't do big bore stuff without some big bore uh, magazine capacity. So, yeah, uh, one of the things that I would seriously do is take a look at uh, increasing your ammunition uh, cash. Uh, also, if you don't have enough of your standard capacity magazines, I would definitely go ahead and take a look at that. And uh, lowers. And like I said, man, if you Google, Google Anderson lowers or anything else, man, whatever else, if you want something else, Primary Arms has got some lowers available. Uh, you got one per order, so you, but you can order multiples. And I, at this point, I don't care if I got to pay 80 bucks a piece for the damn things. My local uh, gun store, Point Blank Range, that's where I picked this guy up. And I got a three or four of these guys in stock down there. Um, they have about 60. Uh, lowers that have been on order they're waiting for them so as soon as they get in get them while they're hot uh, and then after that you got to figure out what kind of canoe you're going to buy and where you're going to go fishing and that kind of thing it's always it's always the thing but guys this is it man we've got to uh, really push for these the Senate folks to preserve our rights as we see them today, not as someone interprets them. Uh, again, they have waited their entire lifetime to get in this position where they can interfere and ruin and take away your Second Amendment rights. Not only your Second Amendment rights, but your First Amendment rights, guys. This is where it all, the fight has got to continue. The fight has got to continue because at some point, you're not gonna be able to say what you want or when you want. I One of the guys sent me an email, said that they got a survey on here. Do you think that this video should be flagged? Is that where we are, guys? That a simple talk with a man behind his desk is being flagged for voicing his opinion on YouTube? Because YouTube and the minions that run it think, well, maybe we don't want this out there. Same thing with Bo Biden, or whatever the hell that kid's name is. You know, I, I find it hard to believe that that guy had the mentality nor the knowledge on how to do what he did without somebody's guidance. There's going to be some interesting things that happen in the near future. But you know what? Here's the deal. Uh, let's stand strong. Let's fight for our right. And when the time comes, we need to stand up. That's it. I had to voice my opinion, man. Uh, we've got the Big Boar series coming up. I'm uh, still working on the pandemic. A gentleman asked me uh, if I could lead through a uh, affordable AR-15 build, and I'm going to do that. I actually uh, was going to use the UTG handguards on those, and then I found a really good deal over there, and believe it or not, Optics Planet, and yes, I am waiting on them to come in because it's been a week, but the uh, Gun Tech 15-inch, which I have it on the Econ 1, is an absolutely phenomenal handguard. Uh, and again, one of the my my biggest stipulations is when you start tightening a handguard, and the handguard starts rising up, it, it, that, that's my that is my pet peeve. I cannot stand that. But with that being said, uh, we've got some optics. We're going to be doing reviews on here very shortly. All the uh, primary arms stuff. You can go to my website kb32tag.com. Again, primary arms as well as this is the Meprolite Mepro Foresight. We'll be doing a review on that. And this came from Optics Planet as well. But anyway, guys. Stand. Be ready to fight. Be prepared to stand up for what is right. Guys, this is our future. And this is, I'm watching it, and they're going to have fireworks tonight because of it. And it would, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, didn't New York cancel the fireworks display for 9-11 because of the COVID thing? But it's going to be interesting to watch how all this COVID BS stops. But again, when corporate tax rates rise, opportunity will go down. And all the people who were sitting there going, we're going to bring the country together. No, sir, you still have a divided country. This election was so close that you still have a divided country. And if you keep implementing your leftist socialistic agenda, we will continue to be divided. 
That's all I've got, guys. This is absolutely incredible. Today is the day that I will never forget. And my poor son's over there wondering why I am so stressed out. And then I tell him, and now he's stressed out. At 11 years old, he understands. Our freedoms are all we have. And when those individuals who fight so hard and cheat to do whatever they have to do to win, again, this is the ends justify the means. And they don't care what they have to do in order to win. That's it. I'm going to leave it at this because if I don't, I'm, I might have to go get a cocktail. Uh, my phone died, so I have to go get a new phone. Uh, if you guys have a Google phone and the uh, camera quit working, let me know. It's Boy 32 I am distraught, and I hope you are as well. But it's going to be a long, hard fight because if we lose the Senate, that's it. We're done. And then we will have to stand up and fight, and it's going to get ugly, and it's going to get nasty. That's all. We are patriots. Go to Boy32. I keep saying that. God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform. And also, I'm talking to you, you LEOs. There may come a day where you're going to have to reach down deep and search your soul. And I know there is a soul in there. To whether or not you are going to stand behind unjustified, unconstitutional laws that may be implemented in the future. 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom is not free. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so. This is a monumental day. And we will never forget it. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.